a science to baking when I can just cook something and throw all the food in the crock pot. <laughs> Cupcakes don't fix as easy. If I put all the ingredients for a cupcake in a, in a crock pot, it does not come out the same. But if it's chocolatey, I'll bet it's good. Okay, now I'll take you <laughs> up on that one. Uh, all right, Jerry, and I'll say something else that's good is this forecast this afternoon. We're seeing that bright blue sky right now. This is a live look from our Summiton Tower Cam. Beautiful blue sky, but we will start to see some clouds filtering in later on tonight. Temperature is quite warm right now, sitting at around 80 degrees from Birmingham up to Summerton. Low 80s in Tuscaloosa as well as Mountville. 77 in Alex City, 75 right now in Asheville. If you're planning on getting out tonight, maybe taking the pup for a little bit of a walk. Well, it's going to be a great night to do so. Take a casual stroll through the neighborhood. Those temperatures will remain in the 70s through 4 p.m., 76 at 5, and even in the low 70s at 6 o'clock tonight. No signs of wet weather, but again, that sunny sky will turn to a partly cloudy sky through the early afternoon or into the early evening tonight. Now, overnight clouds will be on the increase. Winds will remain out of the south, and I am tracking a couple patches of rain right now. You'll see uh, North Mississippi. We're seeing some light rain heading towards Tupelo, Starkville and over towards Columbus, and then down south, some heavy rain over Hattiesburg, Mississippi. That's going to be lifting to the north, kind of splitting the goalposts there between Jackson and Meridian. These will be close to Alabama, but I think our rain is likely to arrive later on tonight. This ridge of high pressure that's been dominating our weather moves off to the east. Cold front back to our west begins to scoot in. So any rain that we see overnight tonight is what's called prefrontal rain. This is not necessarily directly associated with the cold front, but we will start to see those clouds increasing overnight. And again, patchy rainfall likely through the start of your morning tomorrow. Thursday afternoon, heavy rainfall at times. That's when the cold front moves through and that rain clears out completely by early Friday morning. Winds out of the north. Things cooling off nicely as we head into the weekend. Want to show you our game day forecast for this weekend. We've got lots going on. We're looking at Jacksonville State, 80s for that 2 o'clock game, noontime game. Sanford, uh, that's going to be in the 80s and 80s for the UAB game, 2.30 kickoff there. And it's going to be a beautiful day in Tuscaloosa. They are going to be playing host to Tennessee. Big ball game going on in Tuscaloosa. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures going to be in the upper 70s for tailgating, 60s throughout the ball game. Here's a look at the extended forecast. Scattered storms tomorrow and then cooler by Friday. Pleasant weekend, but still on the warm side. And then those afternoon highs will be back in the low 80s early next week. Morning lows even balmy next week. So we had a little taste of fall this week, but it's going to actually get a little bit warmer as we move towards the middle of next week. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Sherry. Ashley, thank you.